So this is going to show you how to generate a Blender Pose Asset Library using the thousands of Koigetsu animation files already available in the game. It does take a little bit of setup, but once you get that over with, you can import as many animations as you want. First you need to go to your Koigetsu install directory, and then go to the AV data folder, then the Kara folder, and on the bottom there should be an OO base file. You can just take that and drag it right into SP3 Utility. Here on the left, you can double click on body and body bone, and their tabs should appear on the top. And when you click on the body entry, this mesh should appear on the renderer window. Now that this preview is set up, you can start loading in animations. If you go back up a folder to AB data, then there's a few different directories that you can choose from that contain animation files. I'm going to use the animation files in Studio Anime. And all of these are animation files, so I'm just going to use file 06 and drag that into SB3 Utility. So if you click on this twice, there is an animation controller type and an animation clip type. If you open any of the controllers, a tab for that controller will appear. So I'm going to open up Summer. Just set the path ID for body bone, and when you click play, it should play the animation that is selected down here. I'm going to take all of these animations, so I'm going to click here, hit Control A to select all of them, and then export over here using the FBX 2020 option. This creates a new folder with the FBX files inside of them. I'm going to repeat this for the other three controllers in the file. In Blender, I've already imported a character into my file using the Rigify option in the KKBP panel, and I've installed the Rococo Studio Live add-on. This is the add-on that's going to be used for retargeting the animations. And you don't need to do this, but I've also deleted the eyes and chopped off a little bit of the sides of my character's hair to get a better silhouette. This model is going to be used for thumbnails, so you need to add a camera and a light source. These are the locations and rotations I used for the camera and the light source. You also need to set the world color to black, and I don't know if the thumbnail resolution affects asset browser performance, but I like to keep it low anyway at about this resolution. Final thing, you want to make sure that your FBX files look like this. You want one large file with all the FBX files, a second folder that tells you which file it was from, a third folder which tells you which animator controller it was from, and finally, the FBX files should be inside those animator controller folders. If any of your animations are from the H animation folder, then you need to rename the animator controller folder to something that makes sense, because they won't have names like these do. This is all the setup that needs to be done, so now you can save the file. When you're ready to generate the asset library, make sure you're in rendered view, and then go to the KKBP extras section of the panel and click the Create Animation Library button. Now choose the folder with all your animations, and hit Create Animation Asset Library. And that's it. All of these files correspond to the animator controller name. And if you go into any of these files, then you'll find that in the Asset Browser, You've got a bunch of actions now. So here I am in the file without any retargeted actions. You can just load the files that were generated as an asset library and then apply the poses to any KKBP model that uses the Rigify armature.
Just know that this is an FK retarget, so you'll have to disable the IKs in the Rigify settings. And you can do that by selecting all of the limb bones and sliding this slider all the way up. If you want to reduce the file size, you can click the Run button down here, and that'll reduce the file size down to just the action data. Now you can see that this file is only 4 megabytes versus 30. I don't think the Asset Browser supports animations yet, so you can't just select an action and then click the Assign Action button. You'll have to get the source file, and you'll have to get the action name, and then you can use the Append menu in the file menu to append that action from that source file. 